Actors with the ability to get smarter over time on their own are no longer a sci-fi movie plot. Artificial intelligence has been getting a lot of attention recently. Chris Stewart found how AI could be having an impact in a way that could help millions of Americans with everyday tasks. Artificial intelligence has reached the point where it can drive cars, it can write entire college essays if you ask it to, but we want to show you what researchers here in Colorado are using it for, to develop a tool to help people who are visually impaired with challenges that we may not realize they deal with every day. Since she was an infant, Charlie Sullivan has been blind. My mother taught me at a very young age that I could do anything just about anything that any sighted person could do. Before I get too far into this story, this 72-year-old wants to make something clear. Yeah, I take care of my own house. I clean my own house. I cook. I, you know, I bake some. I do laundry. But she admits there are times she needs help. Each week, a friend drives her to the grocery store and helps her shop, a task that would be hard for Charlie to do on her own. Well, you kind of have to ask for directions. Trying to ask people that are there, because otherwise you're not going to know. It's people like Charlie. So in this case, we are going for Kashi Go. Who researchers at the University of Colorado Boulder believe could be helped with the smart walking stick they're developing. The system is powered by a laptop. The laptop is its brain. It's a walking stick like we've all seen before. But this one is outfitted with cameras that use artificial intelligence. That means as it collects data and images over time, it gets smarter on its own and can develop the ability to identify objects and surroundings. I found the product at about 11 o'clock direction. Move six inches up. Go ahead and grab the item. In the case of the demo they did for us, images of cereal boxes were loaded into a database and the walking stick told the person holding it where to go. Imagine yourself in a cafe. You, do, you just don't go enter a cafe and just take the first seat. You sit, seat yourself in a comfortable place. The researchers hope the technology could one day identify nutrition labels on boxes and be a financially fair option to those who need help. The cost to train a guide dog can be as much as $30,000, according to Guide Dogs for America. Guide dogs can be extremely expensive to train, and then the uh, annual upkeep on, the com on that companion is somewhat limiting. This is not a replacement, but this is something that we hope can fill some of the gaps uh, and also contribute to more independence. Researchers also believe this technology can keep people safe. The CDC says impaired vision doubles a person over 65's risk of falling. We spoke with Charlie as she's recovering from a broken hip, multiple surgeries, and an infection all related to a fall last year. When we told her about the smart walking stick, she said it's the kind of help that's needed. I think that would be tremendously helpful. Researchers say the smart walking stick is still years away from being available to the public. The next step will be taking it out of the lab and putting it to the test in the real world, which can be more unpredictable. So for now, Charlie has advice for all of us. If you see a visually impaired person and you see outside walking in a, in a store, in a mall, why not take a second and just ask, can I, can, I, can I be of assistance to you in some way? Do you need help? That would, that, would certainly be, that would certainly be very helpful. The kind of help you don't need a computer to do. Chris Stewart, Scripps News, Boulder, Colorado.